And I think, I think, I think, I think I am live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, well, I'm just waiting for live chat to end on uh, on that video. Yes, you are indeed. Thank you, mate. Yeah, just waiting for live chat to end on that video. Uh, didn't get first this time. <laughs> oh, dear. Bunte, Connor, Dennis, Keith, Phil. Uh, 1345 67890. One 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 two. <laughs> uh, R W Danny. Yeah, welcome everyone. Richard, Andrew, Jaden, Topcat, Adam, uh, General. Welcome. Yeah, hope you're all doing well, guys. Um, I do want to get something off my chest a little bit before I start. It. I'm going to be honest. It's getting kind of annoying seeing comments about Twitch. It's getting really, really annoying seeing comments about Twitch. All I keep seeing is, you're not streaming on, on YouTube anymore, I'm, not, I'm unsubscribing. And it is really, really annoying. I'm sorry to say, but it is. Um, just because I've chose to stream on a second platform, doesn't mean, number one, that I'm leaving YouTube, and number two, that I'm doing anything wrong. If I want to stream on a second platform, that should be my choice. And... If people don't like the platform, fine. That is absolutely fine. I understand. But it's not going to stop me streaming on another platform if a few people are going to be funny over it. I'm sorry, but it's not. I'm streaming on a second platform because, number one, it's extra revenue. Number two, it's different viewers. And number three, YouTube could be taken down at any time. It could be taken down at any time. And, yeah, you just never know. You never know what the future holds with YouTube. They can take the channel down at any time. So, yeah, I'm still going to be streaming on YouTube. I'm still going to be streaming on Twitch. That is literally the bottom line. Um, and, uh, yeah, no amount of uh, I'm unsubscribing is going to stop me streaming on multiple platforms. So I am going to say that. I am going to get it off my, off my chest. Um, and... You know, if people unsubscribe just because I've chosen to go onto a second platform as well as YouTube, then fine. It's going to have to be what it's going to have to be. But just because I'm streaming on a platform, second platform doesn't mean I'm not uploading to YouTube, doesn't mean I'm not streaming on YouTube, doesn't mean I'm abandoning YouTube in any way, shape or form. The reason I haven't been uploading regular repair videos is because I've had none. I've had no work for, t I've had no work for two weeks. It's been quiet. I've had nothing to film. Literally, I've had nothing to film. So, work's been quiet, and that, that's literally all I can say on it. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Sometimes we get quiet periods, sometimes we get busy periods. Uh, this week's going to be fairly busy. Uh, but not only that, I'm filming for the series. So I'm busy anyway, because I've got to make sure that I'm, number one, responding to buyer questions, number two, making sure I'm fixing stuff to the best quality I possibly can so I can sell it as high as I can, and number three, making sure I'm keeping track of all of the expenses on top of the normal expenses I have to keep track of. Look, it's completely separate from work. I have to keep track of it separate. So it's more work on its own. So, yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. If I end up uh, upsetting a couple of people because I want to stream on a second platform, then, you know, that's just how it's got to be. Why is my... Bit right higher than the recommended. They fix some consoles, <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is, guys. I'm still going to be streaming on YouTube, and I'm still going to be streaming on Twitch. Like, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be abandoning YouTube anytime soon. I can guarantee it. Which is what I've said all along, but people just don't listen. Anyway. It's not, I don't think it should be insulting to people, though, mate. If I, if I, 
if I post a video just trying to promote a second channel, then you know, I mean, people can see it's a thirty-second video. It's obviously going to—it's—it's it's obvious what it's going to be. People know what it's going to be. Um, and you know, people who actually want to watch repair content, you Twitch is just for fucking around. Like, let's be real, Twitch is for fucking around. I play games on there. I faff around. I've, you know, I just—I just relax on Twitch. I don't take it seriously. It's just a bit of fun. But you know, just because I'm trying to promote a second channel, it doesn't mean that I'm abandoning anyone or doing anyone wrong. But you know, it, it is what it is. The tall Mac right to repair video I haven't made now. Jess, welcome. Mike, welcome. Uh, it's an iFixit kit, uh, GI. I sent you a friend request three years ago. <laughs> mate, I don't use Facebook. Facebook's not a good way to get in touch with me. I, I hate social media. Your mat does look clean. Indeed. This isn't even my normal mat. Uh, genuinely, it's not even my normal mat. My normal mat's still there behind me. <laughs> <laughs> my normal mat's still behind me. It's still got solder balls on it. Yeah, that's the thing. Is I'm not streaming on Twitch. I'm not streaming on Twitch on days that I'm usually streaming on YouTube. I usually stream on YouTube on Mondays and Fridays. I haven't for the past two weeks because he's not been busy. It's been quiet. That's the only reason I haven't been streaming on YouTube for the past two weeks because it's been quiet and the work that I've been going in has been has been absolutely shit. It's genuinely been absolutely shit. It's been no fix after no fix after no fix after no fix. And that's just the way it is sometimes. Um, you know, if if the content is shit quality, then there's nothing I can do about that. I can't release a no-fix video every single time I've got a no-fix because it gets repetitive and boring. And people subscribe to watch actual fixes for me to show them how to actually fix it. So, you know. Yeah, we're good, thank you, Roger. Thank you, mate. Retro, welcome, buddy. Uh, one thing, I want to apologise to Dan from New Retro Repair because he's just started streaming, but I have had these streams scheduled all day. Um, so because of that, because they've crossed, I can't help that. So Dan from New Retro Repair, I do apologise, mate, but they have been scheduled all day, so I, I couldn't really cancel them. What's happened to this board? <laughs> oh, this board is fun. This board is really fun. I bought this for, I think it was like £50 or something off eBay. Let me get the price. What did I pay for this? I've had this about a week now. Um, purchase history. <coughs> yeah, I've had this about a week. Um, I paid... Uh, where is it? Fifty-four ninety-nine in total with postage, so it's forty-five pound and then postage. Um, so fifty-four ninety-nine in total for this, and it had liquid damage. Uh, let me pop under the scope. Everything should just be working. I have just tested it. E, there we go. Um, yeah, this board's pretty funny. With what's happened to this so this board originally had liquid damage around this area here look at this i've had to create a spider on this hello sarah um i've had to create a spider on this pretty much just to get it to um make contact with all the pads so this is the ram ic this is the uh the power management ic for the ram it's basically what sends 1.8 volts out to the RAM. And basically, half the traces were gone. So I replaced half the traces. And then if you look here, there's a missing 0 ohm, fill, uh, zero ohm link just there. Um, let me point to that with tweezers. Yeah, so there's a 0 ohm link meant, meant to be there. That's missing. The reason that's missing is because 
it still ended up as a beep on beep off after I'd done all of this work. And then what happened was I started searching for shorts around the van because of how bad this was. So all of this was a big puddle of green goo. It was literally just pure corrosion, the entire chip covered in corrosion. And I searched around for shorts. I found a short on this line here. Um, so I removed this zero arm link so I could isolate whether it was a short on the ram side of the board where the actual ram is or whether it was on this side of the board where Pera comes in. And the short is on the short was on the ram side of the board. So I started removing chip. Well, I injected some voltage, found out that the ram was getting hot. So I basically started removing ram until the until the short went. Well, turns out it has sent five volts directly from the chip to the ram, and that's only meant to have 1.8 volts. So I ended up removing every single ram chip, and I replaced some of the ram, um, and then I've. I made some sort of a balls up and I've ended up blowing this RAM as well. Uh, so there's only five there's only five RAM chips which I'd installed on there, but I ended up doing a balls up and blowing that RAM as well. So as you can see, anything from here onwards, there's just no RAM. Um, so now I've got to remove them five RAM chips again and basically replace all the RAM again. So I reballed five of them and screwed it up i ended up um, blowing the ram again so yeah it's going to need all 16 ram chips sorting and the fucked up thing about that is while i was reboiling the ram i kind of warped my ram stencil which means i haven't got a ram stencil i've got to wait for some new ones i have got one somewhere but i just don't know where it is so uh, andrew henderson because he's an absolute legend <laughs> sat there and reballed 16 ram chips for me last night, uh, the night before last, and sent them to me. So he's an absolute legend. Um, but he sent me he sent me 16 ram chips and he said, yeah, just, just put them on and we'll just see how it goes. So he's an absolute legend. But uh, yeah, this was uh, this has certainly been a fun one. This is the one from the Twitch stream, yeah. Um, The boss just survived. <laughs> uh, Sarah wishes. Oh dear. Well. Uh, no, he did it. Well, he did him over two nights, I think. Or one night and one day. It's not. Difficult to reball the RAM if you've got a stencil. I mean, it's time consuming. It's not that time consuming. It's not as time consuming as you would think. I did tell him not to, and he just did it anyway. But, <laughs> yeah. What a legend. But, yeah, I'm going to replace all this RAM again because right now it's still got a short on it. So, if I grab, bear with me, I need the battery. Let me get charge battery. There we go. Yeah, so the reason the reason I didn't stream last night, I was supposed to be streaming this on YouTube last night, but I couldn't make it to London on Thursday, so I had to go to London yesterday, which means I was too tired to stream any repair content. I did play on Twitch for a little while on uh, Call of Duty, but other than that, um. Yeah, other than that, I, uh, I didn't do anything yesterday. I was going to come into the workshop and do some repairs. I was just too tired, though, honestly. But, yeah, I kind of screwed up on this. I put these five round chips on, and then I was testing for shorts after every one, and I did something. I think I did... I think I put power through it while I was um, reinstalling the... Um, I was reinstalling the zero arm link by the ram ic and I, I left the power connected by accident um and ended up blowing it again um word to the wise don't don't leave power running through while you're using hot air on the board um so this might not even work once i've done this ram i'm just doing it for the hell of doing it it's not viable to do it's not worth doing but i'm determined to try and get it working so 
Yeah, at the minute, it's still got a short on the 5 volt line, on the 1.8 volt line, I think, um, where the RAM is. Let me have a look. So, metering continuity. One probe on ground. Oh, hang on. Hang on, is that in continuity? Oh, damn it. Hang on. I'm on voltage mode. Yeah. As you can see there. That's a dead short. That is 1.0 ohms. So, yeah, 1.0 ohms on uh, on that line, and when I isolated when I isolated the short, I found out that it was literally on the RAM. So as soon as I removed the RAM, it was no longer short. But then, as I was putting more RAM on, it didn't sh the short didn't come back. So dial up connection noises, yeah. So yeah, there's definitely a short on the RAM again, which means I need to remove the RAM. So I'm going to start doing that. This is going to be kind of time consuming. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, I need to reposition myself. I'm kind of tethered because my I forgot to charge my mics, so I'm fucking everything up at the minute. Oh, what mess have I caused on this shit? Uh, I fucked it up, mate, after the van was replaced. Right. Carry on then. Right. I need to take my microphone off for a little while while I'm removing these guys. I've put it close to me, but I just can't 
move around freely while the microphone wires on and I'm waiting for the wires to, the mics to charge so yeah I should probably just grip them with the tweezers to be honest. That's better. That's much better. Yeah, the problem is it's all already sold in there as well. I'm still going to need to replace this fan connector once I'm done as well. Well, assuming it works. Right, let's start cleaning this up then. Oh, I haven't got a reboil and mate. Andrew Henderson has been a legend and sent me a load of RAM. I've got to replace 16 of the fuckers. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. Right, I'm going to get the fume extractor. So, I don't fancy a headache today. Yeah, the mic's right behind me at the minute. Sorry, right in front of me. It's not connected to my chest, but it is on. It's right in front of me. Alright, so I need to remember in a minute that there's only five of these which have got leaded solder on them.
Okay. Just trim the uh, solder. Bear with me. If I can ever find my knife. Damn it. Damn God. Got it. Phil can't speak. <laughs> I can't remember if I used solder paste on these, because if I used solder paste, then it's going to be lead free solder. Move along. Beeps, how's it going, mate? How's Cody, bud? If I'm not responding much to chat, by the way, I'm not trying to ignore anyone. I'm just kind of focused at the minute, trying to uh, get these pads clean safely. Don't really fancy doing jumper repair or trace repair with jumpers. Trace repair with jumpers on RAM is not fun. Might be entertaining, but it's not fun. Uh, I really need to sort out a new wicking tip. My wicking tip burnt out. Okay, okay. Just gonna clean up.
still a couple of pads which I need to sort out, but at the minute, priority just making sure that I've removed all the solder, or most of the solder, and made sure there's no bridges. So I can just test and make sure that the short's gone. This is going to need a major clean when it's done. Really is going to need a big clean. See how quickly the mat gets dirty? Even Sarah gets more than you do. Yeah, that's probably true, mate. She's shagging Jason, though, so... Yeah. <laughs> Have I lost a... I think I lost a resistor there as well. Well, I'll sort that later. Not really bothered about that for now. Actually, yes, I am, because when the lady solvers on there... It's going to be awkward to change uh, components. Why not, Phil? Saves me having to do it. Is there a reason this isn't live on Twitch? Yeah, because I'm usually streaming on YouTube on a weekend. Right. Where am I looking for this then? Uh, second row. There we go. I see you. Yeah, 
It's not because people keep bitching, mate. It's just because I usually stream on YouTube on a weekend. Damn it, where's all my good trees has gone? Okay, I think I broke all my tweezers. Well, let's face it, could be worse. I could be streaming on you on uh, Facebook. I could be streaming on Facebook. <laughs> right. If you want two viewers. <laughs> uh, where, where is one? I need another board. One moment. Um, I'll just buy AliExpress stuff, mate, to be honest, for stencils and stuff. I don't really pay attention to the brand. I'll just trial and error and try and find a good one. Sarah did. <laughs> uh, I think that's good. Okay, time to have some fun. Except, I'd rather sit there and clean all this RAM before I can figure out which way they go. I'm not trying to solder this by the way, I'm just trying to warm it up, get rid of the flux.
There we go. Okay, now I can see which way it goes. So, before I solder that on, I do want to make sure that this short has gone. Okay, one pole on ground. Yeah. And oh dear. How have we still got a short here? Oh dear, dear, dear. That's not good. Isolate the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Still have a short on that line. Ah, fuck. How though? There's no ram on it. And all of them have been cleaned. Not wicked, but cleaned. How the hell have I still got a short on that line? If there's no ram there. It must have created a bit an internal board short. I'm not putting the ram on if I've got a short there. So, yeah. Time for some voltage injection. And just try and find where it gets hot. Okay. Yep, drawing. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. It's the APU. Rip APU. Well, it looks like I killed the APU when I was fucking around last time I was working on it. The APU is the only thing getting hot. Well, the APU is immediately getting hot. Well, that be game over for this board. And... Yeah. It is donable status indeed. Ah, that sucks. All right. Well, the fun's not over. The fun is not over. I'll tell you why. Shall I tell you why the fun is not over? That one's dead. So number one, I'm going to remove the V timer.
I won't have lost money on this. I've already sold the power supply to it for £18. Pounds. Right, There you go. Number two, I'm going to scrap that board. It's going in my donor pile. GPU dead, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it, uh, just for yeah. Okay, uh, number three is going to be this little fucker right here. Number three is going to be this little fucker right here. What is this one, you may ask? This one? Oh, shit, my mic's too far away. Hang on. Cool box. They are good boxes, mate. Yeah. I'll tell them on AliExpress. Um, Hunt around for box all, um, and you'll find it. Just type in B O X A W L, and you'll find it. Yeah. <coughs> this is the board from the challenge, which I bought from myself. And this one is going to have all of the RAM replaced. This one's going to have all of the RAM replaced as well. Ah. So, this, I don't think I can use this as a challenge anymore because I bought it from myself. Ignore the rusty uh, X clamp, is the only one I can find. Um, I don't think I can use it for the challenge anymore because I bought it from myself, paid myself £15 for this donor board because basically I needed to recoup some money. I've also sold the power supply for £18 on uh, eBay. So I've got no power supply, I've got no hard drive, I've got no motherboard because I've bought the motherboard off myself. But I'm going to try replacing the RAM on this one and try and get this working instead. So I'm going to go grab a fresh cup of coffee and then I'm going to go, I'm going to get the RAM replaced on this one and see if I can do that instead. So give me five minutes, well two minutes, I'll grab some fresh coffee and, uh, and I'm going to replace the RAM on this one instead. Have you ever thought about writing what's wrong with the board so you know what's playing in the future? Uh, I've, I've thought about it but I've just, I'm too lazy for that to be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm too lazy for that. Back in a sec.
No. I'm back. Ah. Oh. Right. One Hello. Mic check, mic check. Mic jiggity check, one, two. Audio good, guys? Nope, that's clipping. Sorry. That's clipping. Hello. Mic check, mic check. Hello, hello. Yep, there we go. That don't clip anymore. Cool. That will do me. One, jiggity, two. How's it going, Lee? Travis, welcome. Hello, George. Danny. Oh, Danny's been here for ages. <laughs> right, okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, just had to get, grab. Just had to grab myself a. Oh shit! No, I've just so my stream deck. I've just soaked my stream deck. Don't tell me that's pressing any song. Checking for Mike. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, anyone got a spare stream deck? <laughs> Whoops. What's the story of Twitch? Nothing's a story of Twitch, mate. Nothing's a story of Twitch. I just chose to start streaming on a second platform as well as YouTube. I'm not streaming on Twitch tonight, I'm streaming on YouTube. Coffee or IPA? Coffee. <laughs> and now I've got to untangle my solder. Fuck you, mate. <laughs> Fixing a water damage stream deck. Yeah, sounds about right. It's sad when you have to tell someone you told them. That means you didn't do a very good job. Waiting for the porn upstream. I would, but Jason's wife's not here, so. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Right, so if anyone remembers this Xbox from uh, from episode number two of the challenge, that's it. Lost my train of thought there. Episode number two of the challenge. This Xbox I bought off myself for £15 for the board. And... Yeah, I want to try and get it working. I can't use it for the challenge anymore because, well, I've technically bought it off myself. That would be cheating. But I can at least try and get it working, right? Because it does turn on. And if the board is cold, it will turn on. It's just when the board is warm that it don't. So I've got a feeling that it's because I'm mismatching the RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that RAM that Andrew Henderson sent me. Told, uh, sent me and I'm basically going to um, replace all the RAM on this with all matching RAM. So I think that's the plan. Follow the stream deck off yourself. <laughs> that means you didn't read it. That is true, I didn't. Nick, welcome, mate. I've coughed my stream deck a few times. Yeah, it should be all good, yeah. <laughs> good to see you, by the way, Nick. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this is a cheap board, technically, but here's the thing. I'm, the challenge is about making money, right? This this board would have come in handy to me because the Southbridge costs about 18 quid. Uh, you got stuff like the MOSFET, the PMIC, the V-Timer, the RAM, uh, connectors on the board, HDMI ports, all of that sort of stuff. So it's valuable just as a donor board, but I pay on average of around about 10 to £15 pound per donor board. I didn't want to make it look as though I'm trying to cheat on the um, on the challenge by saying, oh yeah, I'll give myself 40 quid for that because it turns on. But that wouldn't be fair. Or even 25 quid because I have actually bought quite a few boards lately at £25 which are sold as faulty. But they are specific issues, no power issues where they're usually an easy fix. But I didn't want to pay myself £25 for it because... That would look like I'm trying to maximise the amount of money I'm getting back off it to stop myself from losing money in order to cheat on, the, cheat on the challenge. I didn't want to do that. So I paid myself £15, which is what I thought was reasonable, which is what I pay on average for a, for a donor board anyway. So I paid myself what I thought was a reasonable amount for it because the, the board, as a donor board, would come in handy. So, yeah, I did what I thought was reasonable. I've also sold the hard drive off it, which I paid... I basically took 20, I put 20 pound back once I'd used that hard drive. And I also put, uh, I've also sold the power supply from it for 18 pound on eBay as well, which will be on uh, the next episode. So, <coughs> sold the power supply, sold the hard drive, uh, which I used for a customer, um, and I gave myself 15 pound for the board. Didn't really have to, I could have just said, yeah, it's now fit, it's down the board. Didn't really have to, but I wanted to try and keep it as fair as I possibly could. And I could have just put it on eBay and probably got more for it, but, you know, it's more valuable to me to, to do that. Um, so, give you £25 if it works. You get one of them. That's the first one I've given out tonight. <laughs> That's the first one I've given out tonight. You get the first one, mate. Oh, dear. Uh, but, yeah, I think it was a fair price to give myself on it. Oh, Travis wanted it. Travis wanted the middle finger. You get two, mate. How's that? You're special. You're a different kind of special, though. I'm making a fortune that way. Buy boards to a tenner each and sell them to myself for 50. <laughs> it would be a good way to uh, to funnel money through um, shell corporations, wouldn't it? <laughs> Fix a dead XR. Nice. Nice, mate. I fixed a couple of them back in the day, but not so much lately. Right, okay, anyway, let's stop fucking about. Let's just get to this. Um, right, this is going to be a lot of smoke, so fume extraction is absolutely necessary. Um, yeah, fume extraction is an absolute must. It's a lot of smoke. So, I'm going to add a nice dollop of flux. Is that enough? 
Probably. <laughs> Probably. So a nice dollar for flux. I did see that Johnny Clicks video, mate, yeah. Right. So I'm actually going to go to 450 Celsius. Why have I got no dexterity with my right hand at all? I've got, I feel like tonight, I just feel like I've got absolutely no dexterity with my right hand. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> Capacity to go boom boom. Why is that on coal there now? Are you taking the piss? <laughs> oh, Ed, rewind, rewind one minute, mate. Rewind one minute. I told you an idiot replaced his RAM. At least he didn't jump. <laughs> Speaking of where is Wayne. Wayne is over on Dan's stream, I think. Possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't jump. I'm used to that now. Kind of get used to it. Guy Fawkes did come early, mate. Ooh, we got solder ball squeezing under that one, so that could have been one of the reasons. Ah, oh, fuck. Slipped out my hand. Whoops. I've really got no dexterity tonight at all. I've got, I can't use my hands. I don't know why. Well, I suppose I better fix that before I go any further. Fuck's sake. Um, I don't use my own account, mate. I haven't got an eBay account. I use Sarah's Kids Nan. Sarah, Sarah's Kids Nan's account I use. Uh, but yes, uh, I do use the micro uh, the uh, eBay managed payments, mate. Patrick went boom. Ah, oh, we were always fucking around. We're always making mistakes, mate. It's all in the fun.
Hey, Wayne. Wayne, you missed the fun, mate. Capacity to go boom boom. Capacity to go boom boom. Yeah, Wayne, I believe, has been super busy lately setting up uh, his new business. So, still doing the loft build. I wish I had the money for it at the minute, mate. Materials are far too expensive. That's the problem. What the fuck have I done here? Oh, sorry, no, I haven't done it. Missed the capacity done it. It's knocked all the caps off. Well, that's nice, isn't it? I did not shit my pants, mate. No. I did not shit my pants. I took it like a man. One exploded cap. Yeah, it's knocked everything else off the frigging board as well. <laughs> the only problem with that happened. It just, it come, it, it pops with so much force. Just take everything else out. Technique welcome, mate. Yeah, it takes everything else out with it. That's the problem. No, I took it like a man because I'm a boss. I ain't scared of no cap. When there's something hot on your motherboard, who are you gonna call? Cap poppers. I ain't afraid of no cap. <laughs> Lol. The fuck was that? <laughs> what happened to the dog barking? I shot him. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I need to get rid of this. Uh, Capacitor. Yeah, I'll pop the cap in the dog's ass. <laughs> right. Where's my solder gone? There it is. <coughs> I did cap the dog. No worries, technique. Cheers, mate. Right. 
Let's get these fucker off. Ow. Yoink. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yoink. There we go. Right, I'll put that back on later. Yeah, Tronic Fix don't care what he pays for him, he makes it back on the video. He makes around about fifteen hundred dollars per video. Fresh flux please. Yeah, he makes about fifteen hundred dollars per video on ads alone. So he kinda don't really need to worry about spending like five hundred dollars per video. I'm not wasting Kester. So the reason I'm not using Kester for this is because I'm going to be wicking this away and Kester's bloody expensive. Compared to other solder, it's really expensive stuff. So I won't be using Kester just for this part. Right, let's wick these away. Flippy series boss, cheers mate. Oh wow, that even took the solder off them uh, pads, look. <laughs> oh, it took the resistors as well, no. Oh, I better fix them first. I suppose. Right, let's have a look at the donor board quickly. Hang on, let me get a donor board that hasn't been messed with. I 
or rather that the RAM hasn't been messed with. Oh, okay. That don't belong there. See, this is the problem when it knocks everything all over the place. Right, let me get rid let me just get rid of this one just in case it's ended up on the wrong place. I don't know where that's come from now, so I'm gonna completely get shot of that one. I'll just take it off a donut. Missing a cap here as well. I've got a few mixed up to make. I just forgot forgot to move it back by me. That was all. Just forgot to move it back by me. Uh, by the way, for anyone that was watching on Twitch the other day when I um, when I was working on a PS4 Slim for a customer and it randomly developed Blue Light of Death, I did buy I did buy a new motherboard for the customer because I couldn't explain how the Blue Light of Death happened. So the customer ended up having a new motherboard at my expense. Unfortunate, but shit happens. Sometimes we have to do that. So for anyone that was wondering about that, Oh, it's okay. Uh, yeah, so I need to take a couple of components off here. But yeah, for anyone that was wondering about that, I did end up buying the customer a new board. Because I couldn't explain the blue light of death. I couldn't explain whether it was some that I did, some that the customer did, uh, down to the uh, original fault or what. <laughs> Cheers, single flip, mate. Oh no, mate, but I was just uh, filling people in on what happened with it. Yeah, I've got a switch that needs some attention as well. Thank you, Dave. I do worry about my health, mate, but I don't want to sound like a hypochondriac, but cancer has run in my family for years, so to be honest, it's probably going to hit me anyway. Isn't it what, one in five people get cancer anyway, I think, something like that? But. I've lost a few family members to cancer. A few other family members have recovered from it. So, if I'm going to get it, I'm giving it on my fucking terms. No one else's. Or rather, not cancer's terms. So, like I said, it does run in my family. 
but my granddad died for me. One in two. Is it that? Is it really that high? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I lost my granddad to cancer. I lost my. Uh, I lost. I lost an uncle to it. Um, and uh, on top of that, my nan. I got my nan got over it twice. Yeah, the longer you live, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've always said, I don't give a shit, I'm not scared of dying. Genuinely, I'm not. I don't fear death at all. And as long as my as long as long my kids have a, a good life, you know, as long as I provide for my kids as much as I can and they grow, grow up and they've had a good childhood, I don't give a shit what happens to me after that. My sole purpose in life is to provide for my kids and to be there for my kids. And that's it. So, whatever happens to me after that, I don't give a shit. I was born with a tumour. Be nothing, but I was born with it. Right. Yeah, I was born with a benign tumour. Yeah, I don't give a shit about myself. Personally, couldn't care less. Maybe that's selfish. I don't know. But I don't care for myself in terms of whether I whether I die at the age of fifty once my kids have grown up. As long as I'm there for my kids, while them kids when they need me, I don't care. As long as I'm there when they need me, that is the main thing. Don't talk about rage that way. <laughs> I'm telling her. I actually had an argument with Rachel last night, to be honest. Rachel's my sister, by the way, guys. The iconic battery is low. That is the first time it's ever worn me. Try to take the power supply out and connect the camera up with it. If you've got to fix that. I do, mate, yeah. Um, if you go onto the website, there should be a link in the description, but if you go onto the website, you can uh, book it in for repair there. Uh, there's, all, there's also a price list there as well. Do a GoFundMe. Or tip in and get you a few extract out. I've got one. I'm using it. But honestly, I'm genuinely using it right now. Look. Let me zoom out. Hang on. There it is. Look. Honestly, I'm really using one right now. Honestly. Watch. Do -do 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 -do. I mean, yeah, fair enough. I don't use it as often as I should, but I'm using it at the minute. That is more powerful than a normal fume extractor. Yeah, cheers, Paul. Thanks, mate. Big black tube. He loves. Oh, God. I shouldn't have read that out. <laughs> tidy it up. No, pushed everything to the side. Are you mad? Why would I tidy up? I'll call you later, sexy. Hello. How's it going, later, sexy? No, but honestly, I am using a few extractor guys. I'm just, I just don't use it as often as I should. Anyway, go fun is a waste of time. I 
I don't expect people to pay for, you know, pay for me. I earn what I can. Um, so I was actually on about this to Wayne earlier. I'm on about, I'm on about renting a shop or an office somewhere, somewhere I can do videos from. Um, because I'm rapidly outgrowing this workshop in terms of space. I've got no room for anything. Um, but I can't do that until I know that I'm making enough money for it to cover it. Which is one of the reasons that I've started streaming on Twitch. Not to earn money for myself, but to earn money to help pay for creating content. Because believe it or not, creating, creating content costs money. Creating con content costs money. So, yeah, once I'm earning enough to actually do it, which is why I've enabled Twitch Prime subscriptions and stuff on Twitch, or rather subscriptions on Twitch, it's not to get money off people, but to try and charge people for content. It's just to help to pay for stuff, that's all. Content will always be free. It will always be free. But yeah, I'm thinking about renting an office somewhere. Somewhere that I can call my workplace. Twitch is actually going fairly well. Twitch, like, Twitch pays more than YouTube. It does. Twitch pays more than YouTube. Um, the reason for that is because it doesn't actually cost people anything. But if people have got an Amazon Prime account, it doesn't cost them anything to support the creator. Which is why there's so many Twitch streamers making hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. Because it doesn't cost their viewers anything to actually support them. You'll find that probably 75-80% of, Twitch, of uh, Twitch paid subscribers will be Twitch Prime subscribers. Because it's free. And it helps out the creator the same as if he was to subscribe normally. Well, I can get an office, a small office, for £300 a month, so it's not going to be that hard to get the money together every month to be able to do it. But I need it to be there, guaranteed every month, and I've obviously got bills to pay, so I need to make sure they're paid first. But I am thinking about renting an office. I had my first Twitch paycheck, as everyone calls it, today, and it was only £70. Not that I'm not grateful, because I am, but you don't earn as much as you think off things like YouTube and stuff. Especially for the hours that gets put into it. But I would love to get an office. I see a big problem. What's that, mate? It'll go up, mate, yeah. Yeah, seventy pounds. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm ungrateful because I'm definitely not. But when you think of the amount of areas that not just me but everyone, like when you, if you, right, let's say for example the, um, the video that I made earlier, the video I released earlier, so the um, challenge video. That video before editing, I can show you that video with it before editing. Let me just switch to my desktop a sec. Um, but that video before editing, damn it, mouse. Don't mention how much you make on Twitch. Um, eh, fuck them. Um, yeah, so if I go to. Where's. There we go. Flippy episode three. Uh, no, that's damn it. That's the edited version. Never mind. Um, where is he? Where did I say it? Two hours fifty six minutes thirty seven seconds. Bear in mind, I have to watch the entirety of it before I'm, while I'm editing it. So, 
when you break it down, if I've got a three hour video, it's going to take me at least four hours to edit that video, at least. And then I've got to encode it and then I've got to upload it. So it's a lot of time that gets put into it. It's a lot of time that gets put into it. It really is. I'm not just saying it for the sake of it. It's a hell of a lot of time. Nice desktop background. <laughs> Turns about it was trolling in. <laughs> True. Nice ball. Uh, this one is uh, about eight foot, I think. Something like that, six or eight foot. I don't know. It's about six or eight foot. But yeah, when you think about how much time that actually goes into it. Look, I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's nice to have a way of earning money doing something I love. I'm not going to pretend I don't love doing it because I fucking do. I absolutely love the community. I'm... Genuinely, I'll tell you what, actually, I'll show you something what I sent earlier to Jason. Let me just, uh... <coughs> let me just hide. Well, make sure that nothing else is going to show up. This is how much I respect you guys. This is how much I respect my community. Bear with me. One moment. Desktop. 11 minutes past 7. Wow, I'm so grateful for my community. So I've just been reading the chat on a live stream from a channel with 112,000 subs and the toxicity is insane. Not only that, but he's just about pushing 100 viewers. The reason that I value you guys so much is because you are so respectful to each other. You're respectful to me, you're respectful to each other and you... Uh, you're always supportive and I genuinely do from the bottom of my heart appreciate my community I really do guys honestly it, I'm not joking when I say it I know people say it all the time and it falls on deaf ears usually but I'm, I'm not joking I genuinely do love this community like everyone is just so respectful to each other in the chat there's no toxicity there's no uh, there's no, not there's not really much trolling. Uh, I mean, we have a bit of trolling, but that's mainly a bit of fun. You get the odd dickhead, but that's about it. Apart from Travis, yeah. No, but you get you do you get the odd idiot uh, who'll troll you for the sake of, you know, being mean or whatever. But apart from that, you know, people are generally really nice on this community in this community, and I do genuinely appreciate it. I really do. I mean, let's face it. I'm no one special, I've got a fucked up past, I've been to prison, I've done some bad things, well not bad things, I've never harmed anyone, but, you know, I've been to prison, I've done this and that, and, you know, to say that people still support me is just amazing, I really do appreciate it. But I am genuinely, genuinely shocked at how toxic some of the other chats are, like some of the other streamers. Not not the streamer themselves, I mean their viewers in general. Oh, I get the odd idiot who will post something, but, you know, other than that, everyone's really respectful and really kind. I want to hear for the new James Bond film. <laughs> right. Let's crack on. That is very true, thanks. 
is very true. Yeah, see, I don't give a shit how big my channel gets. I'm the same as Lewis. I will never change. I will always be the same. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know, but I'll always be the same. And the moment that I turn into an arsehole, or I forget who I am, I'm deleting my channel. Because I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I don't care if I have 2 million subscribers, 10 million subscribers, 100 million subscribers. Still with the same person. Thank you, Andrew, for five pounds. And mate, honestly, if I learn something, I like to teach others. I appreciate that, though, mate. Thank you. For young, I ain't heard that for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. The community are really, really decent. I look forward to streams. There was a point where... Look, there was a point where, you know, all of that shit kicked off in all three bits, and I was... I mean, Jason can vouch me on this. I, I literally said to Jason, what, what is the point? Like, why am I even bothering, like... And then... He kicked my arse into gear, and he was like, well... The community are awesome, and... You know, people are going to stand by you... For speaking your mind. And he was right. He really was, he was right. And I'm glad he did, because I was about, I was going to give up at one point. I was genuinely going to give up at one point. I was literally going to close the channel down and delete everything. And it did depress me. Like, the level of hate that people were giving at that time was really depressing. It did genuinely depress me, and I was going to delete the channel for it, but then... You know, I, had to, I sat there and I had a talk with Jason, I had a talk with a few other people, and, you know, we, uh, I decided to carry on with it, and I thought, fuck them, fuck the haters, and since then, I've just never let haters bother me, at all. I genuinely appreciate it, mate, really. Yeah, that's the thing. I've always been the type of guy that will tell people how I feel. I will tell it how it is. Whether it offends them or not, I've never really took that into consideration. If I've got something to say, I like to say it, because if you vent things up, if you, if you let things build up and you vent your anger or you vent your frustration or you vent your feelings, make things worse, can I have a cuddle? You can have a cuddle any time, mate. Thank you for being here, I appreciate it, mate. That made me laugh, actually. Um, first time I ever met Wayne. He was kind of nervous, and I was like, why are you nervous? I'm, I'm just me. Seven months already, yeah. Near enough a baby. We're going to start. We're going to start giving people baby names at nine months. We're going to start giving people baby names at nine months. I haven't got Freddie back now, mate. Jason's uh, refused to give him back. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to start giving baby names at nine months. So everyone who's been a channel member for nine months will get a baby name. No haters here. Not anymore, they used to be. <coughs> they used to be. I've had people literally describing my house on YouTube. YouTube can be weird. Remind me again, someone, while I'm, while I'm doing this RAM replacement, please. <laughs> no, I do genuinely appreciate the community, though, and everyone's so kind on the community. It's just... It's unreal. Did you fuck the other board? <laughs> I went into that one, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jason, hello, mate. How's it going, bud? Someone remind me to be careful when I get from the third, get to the third from the end. Best way to spend the Saturday night. I don't know, I'd rather be playing poker right now. I was meant to be going to poker, but I didn't have time to get a shower and get ready. So I was just like, yeah, I'll just stream tonight instead of tomorrow night instead. I feel kind of guilty now because Dan's streaming from uh, New Retro Repair. But it was scheduled, so I didn't... I couldn't exactly cancel it. I saw he was streaming as my video was premiering and I was just like, oh shit. I don't mean to cross over on other people's streams. I like to try and work around things. It's like Wayne actually messaged me earlier and said, are you planning on streaming tomorrow night? So I believe Wayne might... Wayne, are you streaming tomorrow night, mate? I think you are, aren't you? That's Wayne's Noob Repair UK, guys. If anyone's uh, wondering. Oh, cheers for that, Wayne. Nice one, mate. Yeah, so Wayne's going to be streaming tomorrow night, which is what we try and do. We try and let each other know when we're going to be streaming because the way I see it is we've all got pretty much the same audience. Um, and most of the live stream viewers are subscribed to the other channels as well. So we don't really want to cross over because it affects everybody's stats otherwise. Yeah, we try and avoid it when we can. But I'll be at poker tomorrow night anyway, so... Um, yeah, I won't be streaming tomorrow. Might go live in the car on the way there, if I can sort another phone out for... Uh, if I can sort another phone out for the sat-nav. I have got an iPhone 7, which I could use as a sat-nav, but... It's a pain in the arse because I have to use uh, mobile hotspot. Because I've only got one SIM card. in the poker game can't mate I need permission off everyone at, everyone at the table everyone around me and 
the um, staff at the club to be able to do that, unfortunately. <coughs> I would need permission off a lot of people to do that. Because there's no waivers as you go into the club saying that it might be live streamed, I would have to get permission off every single person at the table and everyone around who might possibly be on video. And I'm not about to get banned from the only club I'm allowed in just to live stream the game. The Grosvenor Casino banned me for no reason when I went to prison. They reckon that I'd breach the terms of service, but it's a bit funny how they banned me as I went to prison, or rather as I got out of prison. Um, so Grosvenor banned me for no reason, and uh, Genting Casinos put the wrong date of birth down, even though they copied it off my driving licence and then banned me, because they said I had the wrong information and I had faked my account. So, yeah. Uh, just until dawn in Nottingham is the only place I'm allowed in. That and Casino 235 in Manchester. But I went to play poker the day before I went to prison in 2014. And uh, when I got out, I went to go back in and I was banned. For no reason. Couldn't give me a reason, couldn't give me an exact uh, breach of any terms, just said I was banned. Club were a bunch of douches. Well, yeah. <laughs> Right, okay, so these two here are, okay, they're lead free sold out, and then the rest are leaded, it's got 731 on it, you know 235, I play in there sometimes, it's very rare I go to Manchester, I'd rather play at Nottingham because I know people in there. Staff are really friendly. I'll be there tomorrow if anyone fancies a beer. If anyone wants to come down for a beer, I'll be in Nottingham tomorrow night. I'm kind of expecting some corrosion under here of some sort or the next one maybe How did you do your car gaming during COVID? Um, I didn't, mate. Uh, yeah, bear with me, Jaden. Why is it deleted you as a mod? That's weird. You've always been a mod, what the fuck? Or have you got a new account? Five fifty sub, nice. Right, awesome. I'll try and get him another shout out soon as well.
saved a bit of dough. I used to actually win a fair amount. Not quite 28k mate, but thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mark. Same to you, mate. I'm not good at taking compliments, just for the record. Oh, you ended up losing... How did you lose your other YouTube, mate? It's a long way. Where do you live, mate? Have you got any casinos? I want to. I want to do some uh, some meetups, but it's having time and well, time and money really. Obviously, fuel costs money. That's the problem. Is about the fruit machines. Oh yeah, no, my mum had a problem with them. Uh, see, I don't have a problem with gambling, um, but. My mom did, and that's one of the reasons I don't play fruit machines because she had a major issue with them when she was alive. Well, up until the last few years. But yeah, I steer clear of fruit machines because of that. I don't play fruit machines, roulette, anything like that. I just play poker. Um, I know poker is still gambling, but it's, it's more of a shot. It's more of a social, social game. And to be fair, I mean, I don't drink, I don't, I don't really do anything other than play poker, so, you know, why can't I have a bit of fun, right? I've had a few people on YouTube actually say, oh yeah, you shouldn't play poker, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, mate, do you drink? Uh, yeah, well, shut up then. <laughs> do you drink beer, mate? Because if you do, you, you can't comment. Drinking beer is a social activity. <coughs> Texas Oldham, mate, yeah. Always Texas all them. Yeah, cheers for hanging out, Wayne. Have a good night, mate. I'll come and give you a cuddle in a couple of weeks. No, I'm going to be careful with this one. Everybody does have their thing, mate, yeah. Everyone's got their aphrodisiac, I guess you could call it, their outlet, their way to unwind and relax. Got to be real careful here because there's a tray switch. I had to replace just in the top right corner and some of the traces there are weak as well
Right. I'm going to replace these with some leaded solder. Because that's all lead free there. Oh, nice, Jason. Do you put your sun songs on uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, uh, Jason? Twenty miles north of Newcastle upon Tyne. Yeah, that's pretty far from uh, I think, isn't it? From Nottingham, just for your own pleasure. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's a good way to relax, mixing tracks. It's a good way to relax. Right, almost done here. Now I'm going to clean it and I'm going to inspect number three. Make sure that jumper wire is still there. I have taken the ram off three or four times now, so it's got to be getting pretty close to coming off. That's a good thing when you do it right. You know when you do a job right? Like, like for example, trace repair under a BGI chip. It speaks volumes about how well, well of a job you've done if you can remove the chip and that, and that wire stays in place several times. It does speak volumes. <coughs> right. I'm just cleaning up now. I suppose I could switch to that cam while I'm doing that. I don't play a lot of it. Too much risk. Too much gamble. Having fun. <laughs> no. <laughs>
Have you ever tried mech for cleaning BJ? For clean, have you ever tried mech for cleaning flux off during BJ repair? Uh, no, what's that, mate? All right, we're just about good there. That will do. This is definitely going to need a really good clean on the ultrasonic cleaner once it is done. Thirty grand in a month, Jesus. Uh, right. Let's have a look at. Uh, I want to inspect number three on the right hand side. That one's going to be in a little bit of a state right now. Yeah, jumper wire's gone now, sadly. Need a new one. It has been replaced you know, three or four times. Fuck's sake. So I need to get this conformal coating away. I need to get that conformal coating off. The problem with that is there's traces nearby. It's past the stream. Uh, it should be rewindable, mate. Okay, well I need to make sure I haven't damaged that trace, if I have I've got to fix it before I can do anything. <coughs> Multimeter. Here to the end point. Cool. Okay. That'll do. All right. 
Time for a new jumper wire. It was inevitable to break. He, oh yeah, mate, he's so strong. That's why he stayed on three times. Okay. I'm just going to get some wire. So, very thin wire. Very thin wire indeed. There we go. Just to put it into context, that wire is 0.063 millimeter in diameter. Or in a term that most people understand, it's the length, it's the diameter of human hair. It's literally the size of human hair. There we go. Trim this end off as well. There we go. So yeah, it's the same, same diameter as human hair. Call it a night. No worries, Yuri. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out today. Right, to create an anchor point. Sticky green goo time, if I can find it. I've got my UV light. Where's my sticky green goo? Right. That's going to take some finding. I've got my sticky red goo. That'll do. Thank you. Sticky red goo will do. Sticky red goo will do. Thank you. Are you for fucking real? Can you get thinner? Yeah, you can get 0 0.02, I think. Guys, bear with me a second.
Sorry, guys. I had to call that number back. I think you're on about 0 0.1 millimeters, mate. This is a little bit thinner than 0.1 millimeters. This is half the size of the stuff most people use, uh, which is 0 0.1 millimeter. <coughs> we can get 0. Point, like this is 0 0.067, but, but the, the stuff most people use is 0 0.1. Nothing have a word to last a lifetime. <laughs> Mate, one microwave will do that. You're probably going enough to pass down to your kids. <laughs> and their kids. <sighs> Yawn. There we go. Solid. Yeah, so you only need enough to make uh, a contact with the pad, like to make the solder ball make a contact with the pad. So that's more than good enough. So these, this particular RAM I see doesn't look great now, but, or rather this particular RAM area doesn't look great, but there's not really a lot more I can do about that, apart from replacing all the pads, and that's not something I'm willing to do. But it should be fine for the most part. All right. Start getting this replaced. So, pin number one is top left here. I'll turn the board around actually. That one's good. Should be in line. Hmm, actually. There you go. That one's good. Right, so I'm going to flow this down just so it's locked in. What I'm likely going to do with these is just flow it down until I feel like they're locked in. Like I would normally do with the BGA chip, so I'll add flux afterwards sort of thing. But not actually add flux until the end, and then flow them all down together. Oh, 
Or at least do it in blocks of like four or something. Just so I don't keep floating the chips. Because obviously if I... If I reflow one and then sit there and try to reflow another one, or try, if I flow one down and then try and reflow another one, then probably going to end up floating the chip that I've just done. So I want to kind of try and avoid that if I can. Ah, damn it. I hate that auto on thing, because it doesn't always work, and then you press the button and it turns itself back off. Yes, I noticed that they're locked in, but they're not technically soldered yet. This one's a little bit awkward because the pads are all fucked. It's a bit awkward to get lined up. I'm self-taught, yeah. Everything's self-taught, mate. And if I can do believe me, if I can learn it, you lot can learn it. Trust me. I am a moron. I do not have any formal qualifications. I have not been to school. You fuck. I swear if you've just moved into the wrong place, I'm going to fuck you up, man. Yeah, I do not have any qualifications. I did not go to school. So if I can do it, you can. Trust me. Yeah, exactly. Taught myself by watching YouTube. Watching other people do it. Exactly, mate. Watching other people do it and practicing. That is it. This is the thing I say to people as well, you can do as much theory as you want. But I can teach you as much of this as you, as you want to learn, but until you actually get out there and do it, you know, you're not actually learning anything. But like it's real world experience when you're doing it yourself. But you can, do, you can sit there and do it in theory all day long from textbooks and it's not going to help you, not really. Textbooks are not going to help, in my opinion. Damn you, motherfucker. How do you know which way the chip goes? Oh yeah, as uh, George said, uh, so if you look on the chip, there's a dot on the chip and then there's a dot on the board as well. But if the dot's not on the chip, you can flip it around. 
and there's a dot in the corner here as well on this side it just tell, it just tells you where it's actually designed for the machines to know which way they go um, or to know which way everything's oriented but you know it's not there to help us but it does definitely help us but then if you look I'm, I'm shaking each chip I don't know if you've noticed but I'm shaking each chip this is my method for installing BGA I'll wiggle each chip when I think it's in line and if it don't move then it, it should be lined up ah fuck that one moved That's kind of been a foolproof method, method of mine for doing this. Well, Microsoft are on about releasing schematics, so that's going to be interesting to see if I actually do. See how that chip moves slightly? That's surface tension. These are not actually soldered yet, I need to reflow these. But yeah, you'll notice I'm like kind of holding the chip on an angle before I drop it down because I need to make sure it's the right way. Small business doing repairs. Yeah, that's it, mate. That's exactly what this channel's about, is trying to help people to learn this stuff so they can make money from it. Or just to repair, repair their own stuff and save them money. Now, when you think about it, the diagnostic process isn't that difficult. But it doesn't take a genius to work out Especially with most of the stuff, because most of the stuff there's a big obvious sign like corrosion or something. The one I've bought, which I'm going to be doing on YouTube next week, guys. A MacBook. I bought a MacBook today. Just to do a video. Just to do a video, I bought a MacBook. Oh shit. Need to make sure I didn't wreck that there. No, I took the heat off too soon. It's fine, but I took the heat off a little bit too soon, but I can reuse it. I mean, there's 16 of these here. I'm bound to fuck one of them up in a minute. I am bound to fuck one of these up in a minute, there's 16 of them to do. I'll stick to my Samsung as well. If you know Louis Snow. No, but I did send Louis to me. Well, I sent, left, a, left a comment on his uh, live chat. I said, hey Louis, I bought, a, I bought a MacBook. I'm coming for you. No, I'm coming for your job. <laughs> nah, Louis is a great guy. I like Louis. What I find amazing is like, how much respect the bigger channels are giving me, like Lewis and um, Tronic Sticks, Vince, 
um, and quite a few others. Don't jinx it. I'll oh, fuck one up eventually. Ow, 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 ow. It's hot. Ow, 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 ow. That's not level. You're not level. Why are you not level? Hot, hot, hot. Okay. There's half of the ramp. So I'm going to flow all these down now, but I do need to come out of the microscope. I need to come out of the microscope to flow them down because, well, I need the hot air to be straight up to do that. So let's go. Thank you, Kyle. Where is Jason? I. Uh, I'm assuming you mean uh, Jason's electronic repair? I don't know, mate. Do you have enough ram? I hope so. Is that enough ram? Sorry, I mean, is that enough flux? <laughs> Right, let's see if any of these fuck up when I flow them down. No! Damn it. That one's fucked. Guarantee it. Oh, the other one's flowed down well. My mate Vince is awesome. Yeah, Jaden posted a link in the chat. My mate Vince is a legend. Yeah, that one screwed up. That one ram out of the seven, out of the eight, screwed up. That sucks.
Never mind. Right. Give me five minutes. Two minutes, rather. I'm going to go and grab a fresh cup of coffee, guys. I'm going to run to the toilet and uh, grab a cigarette as well. So, I'll be back in a minute. There is a reason I'm taking a break now, and that's because it's very small, okay? Even though the fume extractor's on. Hello. Oh. 
Right. Ugh. Okay. So need to get some fresh gloves. So the reason I'm using gloves is because, well, I don't really want flux all over my hands and when you're replacing 16 chips, it's a lot of flux. Uh, that RAM chip that went mental, I'll come back to. Um, so I'll deal with that once I've done the rest. Let's just have a look at it actually. Let's just have a look at it. Yeah, it, it messed up. Yep. Never mind. And gone. Well, I've only got five RAM chips here. I'm missing some RAM. I swear Andrew sent 16. I'm missing two. Uh, I'll have a look in a minute. I'll find him in a minute. Never mind. Shouldn't be sixteen or should. Nah, I never put him on the other board, mate. I'll probably mix them up with the pile I've got at the side of me. If that's the case, I won't find them. Should be, yeah, I thought that's what you meant. If not, I mean, I've got a reboard one, but reboarding three is not a major issue. Not really. Oh, wow. What's going on with that one? Autobots transform! Thank you. 
Yeah, so the point of pressing the ramp down is I'll show you this. Um, so basically, what I do, this is just my method, this is what I found works best for me, right? It's not, I'm not saying it's a be all and end all, but like, let's say, for example, you drop a ramp chip down and you try and get it lined up as best you can. So you can't see the pads once, once they're in position, right? So you line it up as best you can and then you move it around. Oh, that was a bad example because I've got it done perfectly. <laughs> um, but you, you wiggle it around, press down on it and wiggle it around. And if it moves, then it's out of line. So if I move this even slightly, a couple of millimetres, see how it's moving? So you just move it until you get it where you think it's in line and then if you're pressing down and wiggling then and it's not moving in the slightest then you know it's locked in. The reason for that is because the solder balls will grip the pads as long as you've got flat pads. Solder balls will grip the pads and uh, it'll tell me that it's in line or at least as best as it's going to get. So yeah, you just wiggle it a little bit and uh, just tells you that it's in line. That's the method I've found works for me. I'm not saying it's a be all and end all, but that's just how I've found works best for me. A big part of doing this kind of work is figuring out what works for you. But now, like how I'm flowing them down slightly, so I'm not actually flowing them into place fully, I'm just flowing them slightly so it locks the chip in place. So as a couple of the solder balls will have melted but not fully, and that Is that any better guys? Hello? Mic check one two. Right, guys, how's this? See, this is what I mean about things costing money.
How's the mic now, guys? Fuck up Travis. <laughs> Someone deleted that message by accident. Um, right. I don't know what's happening with my microphone, but I'm using the built-in microphone on the road at the minute. I'll sort it out tomorrow. I'll sort it out tomorrow, guys. For now, this mic will have to do. Sounds distant. No, it's not that, mate. It's not the water. Yeah, it's not that. It's not that. It's the actual microphone itself is playing up. Hang on a minute. Um, I do need to order some new mics to be honest well I can't order off Amazon so Why have I got no sound on my PC? Well, on Firefox. Oh, no, I have. Uh, yeah, it sounds okay with that built in mic. It's going to have to do for tonight. This is what I mean about streaming costing money. That mic, that mic I was using, £50 a time. Fifty pound every time. Yeah, it'll do for now. It'll do for now. It is what it is. Fix it and then send it to yourself. <laughs> no, you can't fix them microphones. Oh, fuck you. Can't fix a fucking Xbox either by the look of it. Right, the wires are too thin. Why is it too thin? Send it to Vince. I should do, shouldn't I? I've got two of them now that are broke. It did indeed move. A little bit of wind got underneath the chip that time.
No, I melted that microphone ages ago. I've been waiting for it to die, to be honest. I've been waiting for it to die. I should have bought another one in anticipation, to be honest, but I just haven't had the time. There is a cheaper option, but these are quality mic. I could just buy a cheap lav mic but, and then use them with the Rode, but I'd rather not. I'd rather buy the official Rode. Rode are a really good quality microphone. Oh, shit. Well, there's another one failed. You are very right. Fuck. Whoops. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Never mind. Yeah, it happens. Told you I'd fuck at least one of them up. I, I fucked one up, I fucked two up. I mean, the 16, it's kind of inevitable. It's kind of inevitable to fuck at least one of them up. Send them back. <laughs> I know, yeah, imagine not cleaning them, Andrew. Monica's a little bit behind on the on the uh, stream. The f fucked up thing is it's on ultra low latency mode as well. <laughs> a good technician would have spotted that exactly. Which boy you shouldn't listen to a shit I say. <laughs> Surface tension. There is no surface tension when you get it perfectly aligned, which is why I pressed down on the chip. Exactly why I pressed down on the chip. Shit happens indeed, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly why I pressed down on the chip because. Ow! Because, uh. But it tells me then that. It's in line. Damn it, Flux didn't even end up on the... on the board. It's because I've got no nozzle on the uh, Flux tube at the minute.
new flux. No, no, it's uh, stocking bar. Stocking bar. Trying to watch them when you saw. Yeah, it's all good. Right, I've got to find them other ram chips. I'm too missing. I'm too short. And I've got to replace two as well. Two ram chips missing. How I'm two ram chips missing, I'll never know. But I am. Can't use that one. Oh, that's the wrong one anyway. Never mind. Yeah, I'm missing two ram chips. I don't know how. That one's dead. Is that one of them? I think it might be, but that one's not. Perfect. No, it's not very recorded, mate. We're live. Well, that corner one, I believe, is no connect anyway, so... Do I really care? I don't think I do, because that corner one, I'm pretty certain, is a non-connect. So I don't really care though, it's a slightly bit a slight bit smaller than the rest of them. <laughs> That's what she said.
Uh, Jason's all good, I think, mate. Just gotta find this last one. It's gotta be here somewhere. that one it's a six four six Where are these random solder balls coming from? I don't know if I trust this one. It's got a bit of shit on it. Don't know if I trust this one or not. Yeah, I just gave it a V-flow instead, mate. That looks fine.
Ow. Yeah, better wait a minute for that to cool down. Oh, Nancy, welcome. This is the Xbox from episode 2 of the uh, Flippy series, mate. Ow, 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 Hot. Acid reflux. All right. I do need to reball two chips, and on top of that, I also need to just reflow these so it's all flowed properly with a nudge as well. So I haven't nudged any of these into place. like that. Two to God of Andrew Kett. Nah, I'll fuck, two, I'll fuck two of them up, haven't I? Oh, I'm not a professional. <laughs> Don't know what you think you're getting when you're watching me. <laughs> and professionals do make mistakes. And lawyers don't make mistakes. Ethan, welcome, mate. Secretly cooked just all sausages with a heat gun. I should try that one day, shouldn't I? Let's have a fry up on the BJ station. Do indeed learn from your mistakes, mate. Ah, the ports are hot. Damn. Jesus, this board is hot. God damn. New with no skills, still re ball 16, man. Exactly. You left two of them at home, but you still did it.
I've just sat there and nudged that one. It's, that one's got to come off, so. Oh, come on, Phil, you suck. Get off the board. Right. Let's just fix these up. Reprep them for new chips. Probably didn't even need to replace that. It's an Xbox One S, mate. I probably would have got away with that, but oh well. Where has my flux gone? Where is my flux? Oh, really? Where's my flux gone? Oh, I got it. I'm going to reboil. Well, I'm going to grab some off another board, yeah. I won't reboil them again. Look, they've already been reboiled. So I'll just grab some off another board. Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to see if this turns on in a minute. Alright, there you go. There you go. This is just King Bo RMA two one eight. That stuff. Cheap and cheerful. Does the job. Right, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to see if this turns on. It's not going to, but I'm just going to try it anyway. Just because I can. Just because I can. Because it's my board and I'll do what I want. <laughs> What's the Xmas special? Well, I was going to do a, I was going to do a series. But I haven't got time for it. Oh wow. Oh uh, never mind. No, it don't turn on. <laughs> Didn't think it would. Uh, I was gonna do a series called uh, twenty one days twenty what twenty five days of fix mess. But I just haven't got, I just haven't got the time to do it. I was gonna try and do a different fix every day for twenty five days, but yeah. More to the point, what are you all buying me for my birthday next week? That's the big question. What am I getting for my birthday off you guys? Because anything short of wonderful is unacceptable. <laughs> anyway. I don't drink. 
<laughs> Don't drink. So players no good. 16 rebuild RAM chips. Nice. Make sure them PS5, man. Same thing you bought me for yours. Yeah, but I'm special. <laughs> special needs. <laughs> No, don't drink. I'll send them back. <laughs> Pack of nappies. You get one of them. <laughs> Actually, yeah, buy pack of nappies. Size 6 plus. It's cold, it's still in nappies. Oh, I'm just stealing this cap that I blew up earlier on. But yeah, I was going to do something called the 25 Days of Fixed Mess, and I did think that was a really, really clever title. Um, but yeah, I just haven't got uh, the time to film it. And to be honest, it's quietening down on repairs at the minute. Apart from coffee, could buy me coffee. No, I'll probably do a birthday stream just to have some fun because I don't drink or anything like that, so I've got nothing better to do on my birthday. Trying to get this cap without damaging it. Got it. More coffee and signals. Yep. God is ass. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> right, I'm going to figure out now. What board that ram come off? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that ram is from uh, an Xbox One OG board, is it not, Andrew? Is that an Xbox OG board or did you get it off an Xbox One board? Six three one. Right, what is this van? Six four six, okay. Xbox One S, okay. Uh I'm sure I'll find some. I'm just gonna hunt through some RAM. Oh, 
I'll be as quick as I can. This might take a little while to find some. Well, I'm looking for 646 and I've just found 346. Jesus. That's old. That's old as hell. Oh, I better have some more 646 here now. I swear I'll go mad if I haven't. I don't think the 646 exists on um, an OG board. Hmm. I might have to reball them too. Oh, that's gonna suck if I've got to do that.
Hmm. Might help if we could actually see some of the ramp. Damn it, still can't see. Even more to the damn it, it's fucking six three one. Ah! Right, well, time to hunt through the pile. Time to hunt through the pile. Time to sing us a song. <laughs> no. There's one. There's two. That'll do. Right. Time to get to reboarding some of these then. Time to get to reboarding these. God damn it. Right, should we try stencil or should we go for manual? Shall I see if the stencil wants to work? 
yay or nay? Or should we just go straight for manual? What do you guys reckon? Stencil or manual? Uh, spam accounts. Cheers, Travis. It would be quicker, but I think I've warped the stencil. I think I've I think I've damaged the stencil. They said stencil. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't, I could see the message. Yeah, cheers for hanging out, George. Have a good night, mate. factory. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, it kind of makes me laugh though when with the quote better than factory when you got stuff like a jumper wire on there and you're like, yeah, no. <laughs> it's not better than factory. Not with a jumper wire there. That is true. If it works, it works. That is very, very true. Ah! Damn you, motherfucker. I swear if that pad's gone, I oh, will fuck it up on the next level. I oh, will fuck you up on the next level if you've gone. Hey, Mr. Pad. In the words of Kate Winslet, come back, come back. Ha, motherfucker. Losing your pads. No. Come back for me. <laughs> hey, come back for me. Right. Just gonna clean the stencil and I'll give the stencil a whirl. As long as it's not warped. Move that out of the way. Well, 
my old Xbox One has a beep on beep off problem. I'm going to try and fix it. If not, any parts will be good to you. Um, is SK Hynix. Um, I mean, if you if you've got no use of the parts, but would it not be better for you to just maybe sell it as on eBay as a donor board to make a little bit of money off it? I mean, any parts are useful to me because I use them regular, but if you can make some money off it. Selling pad replacement strips. Um, I've seen them, but I don't know. I don't know how useful they've been. That sort, that kind of situation. I don't think they'll be any good. Like to restore the pad on an actual chip is very, very difficult. Possible, but difficult. I'm just cleaning the uh, stencil, by the way. Slowly. But yeah, I saw them uh, pad replacements. I do want to give them a try one day, but it depends on the application, I suppose. Have a look at that. Uh, I think that should be okay, actually. Just give it a wipe down. She's definitely a little bit bent. But it's whether or not I can get it to work or not. Uh, now I've got to find my solder paste. So bear with me one moment. Sold a paste, sold a paste, does whatever a sold a paste does. Can it re ball a chip? Yes, it can. It's a sold a paste. Look out, it's a sold a paste. I'm losing my marbles just uh, as an FYI, guys. I am losing my marbles. I've also just highlighted all my friggin' live chat. I didn't mean to. Ah! Right. In the words of... Jim Carrey. Oh, alrighty then. Press down on a la chip.
It should be better now I've got my blue mat back on here. Because the blue mat will like kind of form to the right shape to make sure he's got even pressure sort of thing. Alright, I'm going to drop down to 10% and I'm going to drop down to 360 Celsius. 10% 360. Let's just give it one more pass. Yeah, cheers for hanging out, Andrew. I appreciate it, mate. Serious error as account encountered. Uh, what's that on, mate? Is that on PS4? Beautiful. Uh, I am testing it down, mate. It's just you can't see it because it's uh, just out of view of the microscope. I do press it down with the stent, with the tweezers, though. What time is it by me? It is 12.51am. Beautiful. Perfect. Next. Next. But yeah, I do press down with the stencil, it's just like you guys can't, uh, with the tweezers, but it's just like you guys can't see it because it's, um, it's out of view, that's all. 8pm in South America, nice. I wish it was still 8pm here, because that would mean I actually get some sleep. <laughs> or I'd, I'd have a chance of getting some sleep. Fifty-two. <laughs> hmm.
Right. See if we can get two of two. But yeah, you'll notice that in a second the um, sensor will push down. So that's that's what it looks like without me pressing down. And then. Oh, actually, you can't actually tell. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I am pressing down with the stencil, with the trees as well. But I've also got more than one pair of trees is nearby. Ah, oh, fuck. I just slipped. My finger slipped off the tweezers. That's going to be no good. My finger slipped off the tweezers then. I could wick it off and do it again, yeah. Half of them are smaller than the others, though. One side is smaller. Yeah, it's not good. Nowhere near. Nowhere near acceptable. Eight PM UK for Wayne Stream. I'll be playing poker, but I'll try and hang in. I'll try and uh, jump in at some point. That's why I like the magnetic um, stencils because you don't have to hold them, they just stay in place. Just stay in place.
Alright, let's try not to slip this time. Actually, no, that's not. That's not going to be no fun. Did that go better? few stray balls on that. Yeah, the rest of them strays, that should, I mean, that shouldn't make any difference. Like, with the size of them, that shouldn't really make a difference to the size of the balls that are on there. So, as long as the ball can throw off. Actually, that corner one's really bad. How is that corner one ended up so big? I uh, probably can't fix that one. It's probably got to be redone. I'll try and suck it up on the soldering iron. But it probably has to be redone. Again.
Nah, it's got to be redone. I tried to get some on, but it didn't work. I tried. I'll have to redo it. Never mind. Just about whether this um, chip has been wicked too much now. That's the question. Try manual. Uh, I'll try once more with the stencil. Manual, I know I'll do it first time. Manual for me is kind of an everyday thing sort of thing so it's like I can do it manually but honestly it's not a challenge anymore I know that sounds bad but it's really not I need to get better at using stencils to a point where I'm doing it right every time I need to be at a point where I'm doing it right every time. Exposed trace there, look. Oh well, it'll be fine. Do an iPhone IC. Nah. <sighs> Can't be bothered. That's the thing though, I used to be really good at using stencils. And then I got used to doing it by hand. And I got kind of uh, complacent with stencils. But using direct heat stencils on iPhones and stuff, I used to be really good at that. And I stopped using them, and now I suck. And now I suck. But as I say, practice makes perfect.
see if that went any better. I think so. I think so. They are 0.45, mate, exactly, yeah. 0.45 mil. I've got other stencils as well. I've got the uh, non-direct heat stencils. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that, I think. That's fine. <coughs> I think it's fine. Ah, stick to my fingers. That's what they were called, sticky fingers. Looks like one in point. Yeah, it's nice when chat's active, yeah. Well, that jumped in violently. Yeah, YouTube chat is a little bit more active than Twitch normally. It's quite nice. Right, let's get this one right now. Let's put it actually on the right way. Well, I would, if I could see the fucking thing. Oh, 
I can give you something that beats fresh bread, mate. Fresh bread with home cooked chips. And that's what I'm going to have to eat when I've uh, finished the stream. Alright, let's make sure we get this the right way. Yeah, I'm a simple man. Don't you fucking dare. No! Fuck you, motherfucker. I bet you that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Pretty annoying, not gonna lie. It may have no, it's definitely not, mate. I'll inspect it, but nah, it ain't worked. Yes, because I didn't clean the fucking flux off. It's really annoying. Tried to be clever, didn't I? and do it against the way I normally do it. Oh yeah. Definitely high as a kite. It's quicker than ultrasonic in it though. Mind you all ball. Can't tell. It's one of them chips that's a little bit 
too far down. No. No. Hell, I can try it just for the shits and giggles. But no, nah, it's not going to work. I can try it for shits and giggles. Nope. Shits and giggles it is indeed. Right, guys, talking shits and giggles, I do need a wee. So I'm going to go to the toilet real quick. I'm going to lose about 30 viewers while I'm gone, because I always do. Wow, look at that. That's ridiculous. Piss on it might just work. It might. <laughs> Until someone giggles and shits. <laughs> Yep. I don't think this is going to work at the end of it anyway, to be honest. I'm just having fun. Having a chill out night. I don't work weekends anymore, so... It's just a chill out night. Alright, I'm going to run to the toilet real quick. Look at that though, from what it was earlier. Oh, that's sold, uh, John. That's sold, mate. She gone. Right, back in a minute, guys.
Okie dokie. Right. What the hell just happened? Uh, right. Okay. So. Yeah, I think I need to redo this. So here's the deal with this then. Uh, if I take this chip off now. And. There's a solder ball on every pad. Then it's not going to be the reason for the. Beep on beep off. It's going to mean. Hang on a minute. Is that six? Oh no, it is six four six. Never mind. All right. Um, yeah. No more clickbait. Who uses clickbait? Who's used clickbait? No one has. Uh, yeah, if if this has got a solder ball on every RAM chip, it's not going to be why it's not working. Um, I haven't took any MOSFETs off this one, mate. You can put an extra time on, on an S, yes. Uh, no, this is a completely different board, mate. Hopefully, I haven't used any quick blades at all. I'm doing exactly what this title says. Yeah, so if this hasn't, if this has got a solder ball on each one, then it's not going to be the reason for the beep on. What's up, uh, Pike? I haven't seen your message, mate. I was, I was using the toilet, but I did answer. You. Technically. <laughs> Oh shit, there's solder paste on that one. Hang on. No, sorry mate, I um I didn't see your message. But yeah. If that's the case then it's not gonna be the reason for the beep on beep off. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's not the reason for the beep on beep off. Yeah, he's had a solder ball on each one. It's not the reason. One of these RAM chips has gone wrong. That actually soldered on properly. I'm not sitting there and doing 16 more RAM chips again tonight. Could it be a MOSFET? Not likely with a beep on beep off. Um, it was working. Well, it wasn't working. It was technically working before the RAM change. It was working, but it was shutting itself down. It was an intermittent beep on beep off, and the only corrosion I could see was on the MOSFET. On the RAM, so that's why I changed the RAM. See, see you at 6 a.m. No, but I was going to do something else for half an hour before I end. I'm not, I'm not diagnosing whichever RAM's short tonight. That's too much. So I do have a little gift for y'all. Well, not a gift, but Yeah, even if I refilm, I've still got to replace this other RAM chip again. I've bought... Yeah, revisit, definitely. Revisit, definitely. Um, I've bought two Xbox One S motherboards for the challenge. Shall I do one on stream now? 
A gift that is not a gift. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I do one on stream? Just one. I'm going to pick a random one if I do. Pick a random one and do it on stream. It's going to be simple. They're, they're no power, apparently. Is that not cheating? No. Still fixing them. I bought them for the challenge, but I can do them whenever. I still have footage, right? It just that mean just that that just means that 137 people are going to go in advance preview. Yeah, on stream, off stream, it it's all the same. It doesn't doesn't make a difference. Um, I'll still have footage. About 25 minutes. Well, I better be quick, can I? I better get these. I'll tell you what. Oh, all right, there's a challenge. Right, that board's in the house. I've got 25 minutes to get that board out of the house, get it on the bench, diagnose it, and fix it. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. Step one done. Run, Paris, run. Yes, indeed. Step one done. Man, that's the quickest I've ever walked. Low flash. Hell yeah. Get to the chopper. All right. This is going to be fun then. 25 minutes. Monica's got to go. I'm assuming Monica's got to go at 2, 2 a.m. All right. So this is one of two boards that I brought for the challenge. And apparently it's completely dead now, power. I'll put up the listing in a moment. Oh, we have broken HDMI port. Lovely. Well, that's probably happened with shipping. <laughs> Maybe not, it's dented. All right, never mind, whatever, fine. It's all good. Okay, so broken HDMI port. You watch that be the cause of no power. Okay, let's see what goes on. Uh, I'm not looking for any more mods at the minute, mate. Uh, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, that's not no power. That's not no power. Yeah, I'm not diagnosing and fixing that in 25 minutes. Here's the thing, is that turning on and overeating? Is that turning on and just overeating? Because that genuinely could have been the reason for no power. Uh, there's no cracks in the APU. Yeah. That. Yeah. 
Mm, the IPU is not getting hot enough to overheat. Yeah, that RAM's not getting hot enough to be overheating. And so is the IPU. I actually think it might be another RAM issue. Right, okay, let's inspect under the scope. What the hell was that? What's with that HDMI port though? Yeah, this might not be easy. This was supposed to be completely dead no power. I'm not seeing nothing. I'm not seeing anything at all. Not seeing anything at all. That's definitely beep on beep off. Okay. Oh, one point. Wait, what? Okay, one point five volts is not normal. I don't think it is. Damn it, press the right button, Phil. OK. 
Okay, we get five volts. There. Uh, getting 12 volts on the MOSFETs. Getting one, one 1.8 standby, 1.1 1 .1 standby, 5 volts, 3.3, yeah, alright, major voltage rails are there, that's not good, that's not good, if the major voltage rails are there, this is a rabbit hole. If the major voltage rails are there, this is a rabbit hole. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. To be honest. Because it was supposed to be completely dead no power. So I don't know if I should work on this or send it back. Because I specifically contacted the seller and said is it no power or is it completely dead and it says in the listing completely dead let me just put up the listing I don't know if I should work on that one to be honest or just send it back because it's not as described <coughs> I wouldn't have bought it with no pet with a beep on beep off issue. You purchased more than one of these, I have indeed. I purchased both of them that was available. But the thing is, Neo is a very reasonable guy. Uh, Motherboard is dead, has no signs of life at all. Yeah. I'm gonna contact him. I can't, I can't, um, I can't say that he's going to do anything, but I'm not going to do any work on that because he might, he might just send me another one. He's a reasonable guy and that was supposed to be completely dead no power and it's not, it's beep on beep off. I would not have bought it if it was a beep on beep off and I, I specifically have messaged him in the past and said don't send me beep on beep off ones. So... said send it back three times oh i didn't see it mate yeah i'm sending it back i'll contact him tomorrow he's a reasonable guy i speak to him on ebay quite regularly i'll buy a lot of stuff off him he knows i'm not going to be fucking about but he also knows full well that i'm not really uh not really into buying beep on beep off stuff and i've told him that in the past so Yeah, that is very true, uh, off errors, yeah. Right, bear with me, I'm going to go grab the other one. How's that? There is, there are two. All right. So here's the second one then. So this is another one. Save seller. Same seller.
so this is another one I bought for the challenge and this is another one which is supposed to be completely dead so let's see yeah it's another beep on beep off Yeah, I'm going to have to send these back. I can't accept them. I'm going to have to contact him and send them back. These are not beep on beep off. These are completely dead no power. Yeah, look. Yeah, another one where there's no signs of any kind of liquid damage. No kind of signs of any damage on the board. Completely pristine. Beep on beep off. APU gets warm and that's it. Yeah, I'm going to have to contact him guys. I can't. I can't, I can't accept these. It sucks, but I can't accept them. I'm going to contact him. I'm going to see what he, see what he can do about replacing them. Because he said he's got loads of them. Um, yeah, clever for me. Far from me. I'll take him off, uh, off your hands and have a go. What at the price I paid for him? So I paid £26 each for him. But I can't really lose money on him. I'm literally just burning money. See, yum yum, not a bummer. Very true. <laughs> You're a bummer. Yeah, I paid £26 for each one, mate. What, you will give them a go at £26 each? I mean, if you want me to send them to you, mate. I'm happy to let you have them for what I pay for them. You can see I haven't worked on them. I'll just contact him and say, can you list some more? That sucks, that does, because that's £52 that I could have spent on somewhere else. From the challenge. Uh, get in touch with me then, mate, if you want to, uh, if you want to take them off my hands, give them a go at that price. Just not got the gear to look at them at the moment. Yeah, that's the only issue is I've got to, I've got to try and sort these ASAP because these was already two days late. I was supposed to have already filmed episode four and I haven't. I've filmed half of it um, because I'm waiting on some other stuff to come. Used to work with Birmingham Cable and a small leaf. Oh, nice. Yeah, but if you want to buy them off me, uh, oh, you'll get hold of Neo. Okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Um, Neo knows that I do trust him, and I think he knows now because he knows who I am. Uh, he knows I run this YouTube channel. He knows of the work that I do. So I think if I contact him, because I have spoken to him before and said, look. I'm not interested in beep on beep off. I don't want beep on beep off. They are too much of a rabbit hole. I'll pass. Um, and I've said to him, if you can get me completely dead no power, then by all means, I will take them off your hands. And, uh, and I'll pretty much buy every one of them off him. And I will. I'll buy every single no power completely dead board that he's got. But... I won't buy every every beep on beep off board he's got. I don't care if he's got a hundred boards that are completely dead no power. I'll eat printing money. And obviously I'm trying to make money. That is the entire point. So if I was doing it for experience it'd be different, but I'm trying to make money. So I'm not interested in beep on beep offs. So I'll send them back to him. I'll speak I'll speak to him and send them back to him. I'm sure he'll be I'm sure he'll be more than reasonable. 
Um, if you get any PSU, faulty. Um, I don't really get PSU jobs in. Very rare. Oh, right. Handsworth was a bit shit. Still is. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. It's 2 a.m. nearly. Um, shit happens with these. I'll get them sent back to the uh, seller. It is what it is. Or let him know you're after dead P PSUs. I could do, yeah. But I'll get in touch with him tomorrow. I'll speak to him. I'll see what he can do for me. Because he knows full well that I didn't want beef on beef off. Um, and we did agree to that before I bought them. He listed them specifically for me. Um, I did speak to him and I said, look, can you list some more? And he said, yeah. And then a day later he listed them, so I bought them. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you all have a, a good night, good rest of your night or day, wherever you are. And uh, I'll see you all later.